represents is the counter set. So the counter, which is one of my favorite sets actually, is my honors thesis was on a big counter set, which had a special property in the fourth completeness of the logic system. But okay, so first thing is the counter set is the limit of this of this process, the limit of this process, just moving the middle third. Well, first of all, what am I, why is it called the should be here? Okay, the tangent line. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. And this goes for forever. So we know that the counter set is not going to be, the limit of this process is not going to be an empty set because if you look here, these endpoints, these endpoints here, always stay. They're never removed in the process. So that's a big thing. So we know it's, it's not empty, but here the question is, I mean, we want to introduce it also. So, and you're never getting rid of it. So the big question is, do we ever, is the set, the big question is, is the set uncountable or is it countable? And the answer is, so the set that's formed from continuous process forever, just keep on moving the middle one third. And the cool thing is, this set is actually uncountable. So the reason why it's not countable is because there's a bijection. to the stream of uh, to the image streams of zero comma one infinite binary streams. How is there a bijection? Okay. Let's look at the number zero one one zero zero. But zero one one zero and dot dot dot. Okay, this corresponds to a point, right? Because you can either choose that go left or right. Zero, right? That means I go to the left. One means I then decide to go to the right. Second one again. A one means I go up to the right again. Go to the right again. And a zero means I go to the left. And by constructing this, this the infinite sequence corresponds to a direct movement in the cancer sequence, in the cancer construction. So it has to correspond, so it will correspond to the point that it originally built from it's so yeah. So zero corresponds to moving to the left, choosing the left bar in the first partition, then right from where you currently are, currently are in the next partition, then right again to that corresponds to one. And zero corresponds to that. We keep on going for infinity. And so every binary stream corresponds to a point in the Cantor construction. So the Cantor set is uncountable. Okay, I think that is good. So next time, I think I'm going to go into maybe more about the binomial I mean, rules and you know, go into possibly functions and relations and just a strict definition. I don't know if I've done that before, but let's check. Anyways, thank you for very much for your time. Uh, congratulations to Julie for with Richard and I. I hope that works out. And uh, best of luck. Math Ninja out.